Now, I think a lot of us, including myself, love Donald Trump because he isn't politically correct. Definitely not your typical politician. And more importantly, he makes you feel proud to be an American. Okay, question? Yeah, go ahead. Sure. She's shocked that I picked her. No. It's like in a state of shock. I'm not thinking, Mr. That's President. That's okay. I know you're not thinking. You never do. I'm sorry? No, go ahead. <laughs> Ouch. Go ahead. You called women you don't like fat pigs, dogs, slobs, and disgusting animals. Your Twitter account Only is Rosie several- O'Donnell. <laughs> That's no, messed up, dude. It's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. You and Bill. We give state dinners to the heads of China. I say, why are you doing state dinners for them? They're ripping us left and right. Just take them to McDonald's and go back to the negotiating table. Seriously. (laughs) It's true. Get them a Big Mac, send them on their way. Oh, he's a savage, for real. I want to get paid the same as a man, and I think you understand that. So, if you become president, will a woman make the same as a man, and do I get to choose what I do with my body? Oh, here we go. No and no. Straight up. You're going to make the same if you do as good a job. You're going to make the same if you do as good a job. You know, last night... I agree. I called Hillary a nasty woman. But this stuff is all relative. After listening to Hillary rattle on and on and on, I don't think so badly of Rosie O'Donnell anymore. In fact, I'm actually starting to like Rosie a lot. Throwing haymakers, Donald. Do <laughs> you expect Matt Whitaker to be involved in the Russia probe? Do you want him to... It's up to him. Do you want him to rein in Robert Mueller? What a stupid question that is. What a stupid question. But I watch you a lot. You ask a lot of stupid questions. Mr. President, since you attack CNN, can I Call it like it is. Uh, John Respect. Roberts, go ahead, John. No, no. John Roberts, go ahead. <laughs> CNN is fake news. I don't take questions. I don't take questions from CNN. CNN is fake news. I don't take questions from CNN. John Roberts of Fox. Let's go to a real. Let's go to a real network. Your campaign had an ad showing migrants. He gives me every time, every single time that he points out CNN being fake news, which has is, is been reported many different times. There's there's lots of un, unveilings of the curtain, what they what they promote versus reality, what's actually going on. But y'all could research that on your own time. I love it. It, it. it never gets old hearing him say fake news, fake news, not not addressing it, fake news. Showing migrants climbing over walls and well, so on. Well, that's true. It, it, but they it, weren't it, actors. They're not going to be doing they that. They weren't actors. They're hundreds of miles away, though. They're hundreds and hundreds of you miles away. That, that's I not an invasion. Should, honestly, uh, I think you should let me run the country. You run CNN. All right. And if you did it well, your ratings well, let me would be ask, much better. If I, if I may okay, ask one enough. other question. Mr. President, if I may, if I may ask one other question, are you worried? That's enough. That's enough. Mr. President, that's enough. I was going to ask one other. Quiet down, are alarmed by the new calls to adopt socialism in our country. America was founded on liberty and independence. That's the old crazy and not Nancy back there. Government coercion, domination, and control. We are born free and we will stay free. Amen. <laughs> oh, Bernie. Oh, look at old Bernie's face. He's talking about socialism. He's talking about socialism right now. Y'all see Bernie? Prices are mm, going against my diabolic, my diabolical plan. <laughs> oh Lord, Bernie don't want it. I'm about to pass out right there. Mm. It's great to be here Zoom with a thousand meme it. wonderful people, or as I call it, a small, intimate dinner with some friends, or as Hillary calls it, her largest. Crowd of the season. <laughs> oh man, is this a roast Hillary session? His visceral response to attack people on their appearance: short, tall, fat, ugly. Isn't that Rand Paul? My goodness, that happened in junior high. Are we not way above that? And would we not all be worried to have someone like that in charge of the nuclear arsenal? Mr. Trump, 
I never attacked him on his look, and believe me, there's plenty of subject matter right there <laughs> that I can tell you. But Jake, why is this a, oh, such a big topic for you right now? Well, immigration's a very big topic. Take a Y'all look at his all the crime that's being committed. We got some topics we can discuss. Go take a look at it. The look, research I'm says the crime, is, the crime is that does not match yeah, what you're saying. The research, research, the Pew Research, which is okay. independent, says... Don't be naive. You're a very naive person. <laughs> the Pew you're Research a, says that there are uh, for... Immigrants on the whole create are. Come on, try getting it out. <laughs> try getting it out. I'll get it out. I mean, I don't know if you're going to put this on television, but you don't even know what you're talking about. Try getting it out. Go ahead. Oh, my goodness. I'll tell you what, CNN should be ashamed of itself having you working for them. You are a rude, terrible person. You shouldn't be working for CNN. Go ahead. In, 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 go ahead, in, Peter. Go in, ahead. In, in the great words of Donald Trump from the apprentice days, you know, back when everybody liked him. You're fired. You got to go. Jim's defense, I've traveled with him and watched him. He's a diligent reporter who busts well, his Well, I'm not a big fan of us. yours either, so I understand. Yeah, to be honest so with you. Me... He's woefully unprepared uh, to do this job. What say you? Bill I think he's the worst president maybe in the history of our country. I think he's been a disaster. He's been weak. He's been ineffective. I know Hillary met I agree. Race my campaign with... manager. And I got the chance to meet the people who are working so hard to get her elected. There they are. The heads of NBC, <laughs> CNN, CBS, ABC. There's the New York Times right over there and the Washington Post. Oh, man. They're working overtime. True. <laughs> True. They put her on that pedestal. They whatever propaganda they got to promote to push Hillary. That's what they did. It, but it didn't work, though. It didn't work. Mr. President, you repeatedly o over the course okay, of just sit down, please. Well, when you when you report fake news, no, Take when you report down, fake news, which CNN does a lot, you are the enemy of the people. Go ahead. Since you're attacking us, can you give us a question? Since you're, no, Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Mr. President-elect, since you are attacking no, our news not organization, not can you give us a chance? Your organization You are attacking our news organization. Your organization Can you give us a chance to ask a question, sir? Go ahead. Sir, can you state, Mr. President-elect, go ahead. Can you state categorically, Mr. President-elect, can you give us a question? Don't be rude. You're attacking us. Can you give us a question? Don't be rude. Can you give us a question? Oh, I love the way his, his mic presence, his stage presence, on the biggest stage possible, he is trolling them all. But he's being real at the same time, being completely transparent, rude, rude. Y'all see the just big puff of air puffing out the chest? He, he's sunning them. And, and for those of y'all that don't know what that means, like he's Big Daddy Trump right now. He's Shh, quiet. You're grounded. No, go to your room. Nose in the corner. Like, we, we ain't got time for this. I'm not going to hear none of your back talk. We're not here for this. We're here for facts. We're here for logic. I love it. I love how real he is. He's... Best leader that we've had in a long time because he's not a politician. He wasn't afraid to speak on what, what he actually thought. And what most people were scared to say, what most people don't have the courage, the guts, the balls what to, to say, to face society and point out what's really going on, he did that. He said what was on everybody's minds and people all oh, gasping, but that's what needs to be unveiled. The truth. That's what people deserve is the truth. Now, I know all sides got a bias. You always got to look at from a, you know, a non-biased lens, kind of in the middle, take a deep breath, but... He wasn't PC, and that's why people hated him so much. They loved him back in the day. Black, white, didn't matter what color you were. Everybody loved him. They, wanted, they had him in songs and music videos. He was all on national television on The Apprentice. I don't know what network The Apprentice was on. ABC, NBC, y'all let me know in the comments, but... They didn't hate him then, but they hate him when he starts getting in there and draining the swamp. He, he tried to. He tried his best. He started to, but that's when they had to, you know, you know what they did back in 2020. Come on now. I'm not going to give you a can question. You can you stay categorical? You are fake news. <laughs> Sir, go ahead. Can you but one of the things I noticed tonight, and I've known Hillary for a long time, is this is the first time ever. Back to Hillary. Ever. That Hillary is sitting down and speaking to major corporate leaders and not getting paid for it. <laughs> Why not Hillary sign the other the bills, you know, so some of these the workers can get paid, the government can get paid. You think I should do that? Yeah, you, 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 no, no, you, do you think I should do that, John? Well, I mean, it's not for me I mean, to say that. I want your one-sided reporting. Do you think I should do that? It's, 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 it's no, not my No, seriously, John, do you think I should <laughs> oh, just sign? 
Well, the, the argument no, no, has been me, made that you me. can sign these bills that have nothing to do with border security. Do you think I should just sign? Answer the question. I, I, I'm saying that if you sign that, these workers can start getting paid. Uh, the government can so start working. So you would do that if you were in my position. You'd do that. I, I'm not in your position. Mm. I'm asking you if you've that's something you I'm would do. I'm asking you, would you do that if you were in my position? I, 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 if you would do that, you should never be in this position. <laughs> and he never you'd will never be. get anything done. Virtually everywhere, socialism or communism has been tried. It has produced suffering, corruption, and decay. Socialism's thirst for power leads to expansion, incursion, and oppression. All nations of the world should resist socialism and the misery that it brings to everyone. Amen. Mr. Trump, take 30 I, seconds. Well, let, let me just say, wants to be a tough guy. A lot of times, you'll have, you'll have, and, and it doesn't work very well with How tough is it a to lot take of times, ooh, property you, from an elderly talk, woman? Let me talk. Quiet. How tough is it? A lot of it? times, <laughs> a lot of times, that's all of his donors and special interests out there. <laughs> so, that's what it is. We reject. Mm. I want him to be president again, just so I can witness and hear more of this right here. This is pure comedy, pure genius. And Trump is what, what a lot of people would like to call a, a walking headline or a walking controversy, however you want to label it. But I loved it. I'm here for it. Does everything he say make a, a thousand percent sense and, and, and is correct and is it should be said? Absolutely not. But I'm a sinner. You're a sinner. We've all seen. Do I hold his past or what he does in his private life, life against him? No, because we we hired him to be a president. We voted him in to be a leader, a president, to stand firm on the foundational beliefs that this country w has grown to be the most successful country in, in the world, in my personal opinion. And I think it's a, a fact that y'all let me know if you disagree, but I live here. So I'm going to stand on what I believe. I'm going to stand on my patriotism. And Trump did that. Again, he makes you feel proud proud to be an American. Nowadays, the, the people in office, they hate, they hate for whatever reason, our country, I don't know why they're running it, but they want to run it into the ground. Do y'all see inflation? Do y'all see how people puppet around Biden? Biden don't even know where he's at half the time. He don't know who he is, where he's at, who he's married to, if he's vice president anymore to Obama or if he's president. Like he doesn't, he's not coherent. Trump knew where he was at at all times. He knew what crowd he was speaking to. He was always present in the moment. And you may not like the way he delivered everything. You may not like some of the arrogance, but you can't deny the things that he did as a leader. You can't deny the changes that he made, the economy booming under office with President Trump in there. I'd vote for him again. I, I didn't vote for him in 2016. I was still on the left back then. I was still brainwashed by the nonsense. But now as a, as a Christian man walking in faith, do I agree with everything that he says and does? No, but he's pro-life. That's always my deciding factor. He's pro-life and he's working on himself as best as I can see. Oppressive speech codes, censorship, political correctness, and every other attempt by the hard left to stop people from challenging ridiculous and dangerous ideas. Mm. These ideas are dangerous. Instead, we believe in free speech, including online and including on campus. Amen. I just love how he talks to misbehaving reporters like children and the people he was up there debating, whether it was Rand Paul talking about his looks. Uh, I don't know all the, the candidates and, and people he was debating. It was a roast Hillary session. They had like five clips from that, that dinner or feast or whatever sort of uh, ceremony. I don't know what was going on, but I love the way he just articulates everything clearly. And I miss having a president that just just knows where he's at. That's all I'm asking. A president that knows where he's at, knows what's going on, and knows how to fight back and stand for something that's, you know, foundationally true, foundationally what the country was founded on, which is Christian principles. And you may not get on board with that. You may disagree with that, but that's where I stand. That's what I love. I love America, and I'm always going to fight for that. So I'm always going to lean towards the people that love our country, love the land that we live in that most people take for granted. If you don't like it, get out. If you don't like border security, ain't nothing racist about it. People love to say that Trump was a bigot, he was a racist, all this, this, that, and the third, but Barack Obama deteriorated race relations. Like the tension under Barack Obama was absolutely absurd. Trump did more for HBCUs, historically black colleges and universities than any president. He donated his entire salary. He was, he had his money. He earned it. The American dream, capitalism. He, he worked for that. You could say, oh, the, the rich people, bad, the, the rich get richer, blah, 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 blah. You could do a lot more good when you have money than without. You could do a lot more good when you have 
money in your pockets and to distribute to those in need than without. Now, some people will twist that and say, it's, oh, you know, not all people are that way. And, and that's very true. But Donald Trump was a man that, that stood on his beliefs. He made a difference when he said he was going to do something. He executed on it. He didn't just toss out this all this political jargon and propaganda and nonsense and rhetoric that, you know, the left likes to promote without actually delivering on it. What, what's the left done for, for, for black communities? What's the left done for, for violence on all fronts? No matter what the color of skin tone is, the left wants to take your guns. They want to hold you hostage. They want to kill innocent babies and say it's a woman's choice. No, it, we get in that all day long. But y'all know where I stand. I love Trump. I love what he brings to the table. And Romans 13, 1, I'm reading out of the ESV version, says it best. Let every person be subject to the governing authorities, for there is no authority except from God, and those that exist have been instituted by God. So that goes for Barack Obama, for Donald Trump, for Joseph Biden. He, they were elected and, and God allowed it to happen. So I know at the end of the day, no matter how many debates we have and back and forth and, and arguments we go through, they were put in place by God for a reason. It'll be worked together for the greater good. So at least enjoy some entertainment while, while you're at it. But this compilation right here was from 2019. So I'm sure there's many more clips that, that could have been added since then. But y'all know Don is is something else. And I love it. I'm all here for, for, for old Donald Trump, 045, Big Orange, whatever nickname you want to give him. We may disagree on a lot of things, and y'all can let me know in the comments section. Let's keep this conversation going. But either way, remember, these people are put in place for a reason, and you still got to stand for what's right. You still got to stand firm on you, what you know to be the case that's going to drive humanity in the, the correct direction, and that's to the Lord, in the correct direction of what the Bible, basic instructions before leaving earth says. But at the end of the day, take a deep breath and realize it's all going to be worked together for the greater good. So I love y'all. I'm praying for you. Uh, if you want to support the channel, hit that thanks button down below has a little heart next to it you can always buy me a coffee donate on paypal you don't have to do any of that that stuff at all just show it up i appreciate the viewership uh again comment your thoughts below so we can keep this thing rolling share this video uh like subscribe notification bell so you stay up to date on all my future videos i got a whole playlist of all these sort of debates news culture sort of uh reactions and commentaries that i like to do i love reacting to this stuff right here so hey until next time i love y'all i'm praying for you godspeed i'm gone